Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Uh, okay, so the doorbell just rang. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Bryce. Bryce. This music is happy. Uh, it'll mean bad news. Afraid so. How are you holding up? Better than yesterday. Let's go for a walk then. Sure. I have a concussion. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I just got, like, swiped in the guts by a dragon tail. You didn't find Reza. We hope he'd come back on his own. Do you have any idea where he might be? Maybe he mentioned some sort of place in particular that holds some meaning? Nope. Uh, I have no idea what Reza would have done anything like that. I had the impression that they weren't fond of each other, but this, how is he? Oh, Maverick's fine, but there's plenty of blame to go around. You're right, they didn't particularly like each other. It, Maverick says he suspected Reza of planning some sort of attack. Do you know anything about that? No, he only told me something was going to happen, not that he was planning anything. Dude, our friend is like a fugitive on the run, and these dragons are just like, So what's up? <laughs> what happened? Meanwhile, the human police would be, like, on a manhunt for this guy. You even have our PDAs. We don't have much to show for it yet. If we had any nefarious plans, this wouldn't have been a very good idea. You have a good point. But from our side, we only have Maverick's word on the whole other matter. Uh, even then, he didn't really have any reason to follow you yesterday, and his behavior was completely out of line. I'm just glad you came out fine. Damn, these dragons... Thanks, they're That's taking nice. our side, yeah. yeah. If he wasn't on mandatory sick leave, he would have been suspended right now. We'll have to wait until this whole thing is over before we decide what to do with him. Dang. Turn in your badge, Maverick. Dude, imagine getting shot and all of your, like, species takes the side of the aliens. They're Dang. like, bro, you're fired. Where I come from, this kind of attack on a diplomat could be classified as an act of war punishable by death. <laughs> oh, like, what should we say? Uh, maybe, maybe they both acted in the heat of the moment. Okay, yeah. <laughs> maybe. maybe. All right, we still got a lot on our hands. We have a wounded dragon and a missing human. This could lead to a diplomatic crisis. Maybe Reza will still show up soon and we can get this all behind us. I hope so, too. I really wouldn't want to jeopardize anything. How about we both just keep quiet about this whole thing for now? After all, I don't think any of us wants our people panicking in this. Right? Oh. Yeah. I merely nodded in agreement. Oh. Where Back are we alley now? deals here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> You ever been on camera, son? <laughs> like in this like weird, scary room. We arrived at the police station, got a formal statement. Not that I knew anything that preceded yesterday's events of the mysterious catastrophe Reza had mentioned. Afterwards, he thanked me and left me to file my statement while I sat by his table. Okay. Interesting. Afraid I have more bad news. Reza's now officially become a murder suspect. Whoa. We're headed to the crime scene and hoped you'd come with us. Uh, crime scene. I don't really know much about forensics. It's just that you're the only link to Reza we have. Consider what he said would happen to us. It's all in our interest that we find him as soon as possible. Your cooperation would be appreciated. Yeah, let's definitely help him. Yeah, let's help these dragons. We just respectfully decline and the game ends. It's like, I just decided to go back to my apartment. I suppose I won't. don't really have much choice. Let's find Reza. Let's go. Where is the scrap? Dang. Yeah, on our way to the crime scene, he tried to prepare me for what would come. I had studied biology, so I was familiar with the sight of dead animals. Asking myself how similar this would be, I was I wondered if my reaction would be any different if it wasn't a dragon, but a human corpse I would be seeing. When we, we arrived, we were met by Sebastian, who gave us an overview of the whole situation. I don't know, seeing an animal corpse is still, like, sad yeah. and, like, disturbing. I can imagine seeing, like, a monkey corpse would be kind of freaky, right? Yeah. But I guess that's just because we don't live in a place with monkeys. If you just saw, like, a murdered chimpanzee out in the street, you'd probably be like, oh my god. Alright, you ready? Let's do it. This is from the trailer. Whoa. This is from the trailer. What happened? Look at all these slash marks. Dang. Looks like it was dragon done to me. Yeah, right? Wait. Well, he's definitely dead. Yeah, rip. <laughs> What? <laughs> How, like, heartless. <laughs> Rip. F in the chat, boys. Investigation, Investigation st start. Whoa. <sniffs> two wings, two legs, just like the waitress in the cafe. About as big as a human, lengthwise if not slightly taller. The wingspan would certainly look impressive at that size. <laughs> Those marks are turning blue. <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah, the wounds are hard to miss. Okay. True, but what are they telling you? Uh... It was suicide. 
<laughs> we would be perfect government employees if we were like this is uh, suicide infli- by yeah they were definitely inflicted with a sharp element. yeah it killed himself with a shot to the back of the head <laughs> uh they were inflicted with a sharp implement yeah they're clean cuts from a knife that's true but why does it matter dragons don't use knives uh wait what this couldn't be a suicide they slashed the throat right but the scrape marks look like okay so i'll say dragons don't use knives actually we do oh (laughs) okay uh it could have only been someone with hands only those of us who walk on two legs have the proper dexterity to wield a knife effectively most other dragons would just bite instead but this rules out the bigger dragons and flyers but then reza still has his what was it called again you mean his gun? Yeah, if it was him, why would he kill someone with a knife rather than just use his gun on him? Uh, he wouldn't because it wasn't him. Oh, yeah. There's clearly no reason why he would, so it couldn't have been him. I'll have to disagree with you. Oh, okay. He did not want to make any noise. That's why. I'm not good at this. Yeah, something as loud as a gunshot would have easily given away his position. That could be a good reason. Which wound do you think was the lethal one? Definitely the one on his neck, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Shh. If all the blood from it wasn't a giveaway, this is a stab wound. Characterized by a rather small footprint, you can also tell it's the deepest one. And from the location, it's pretty obvious it must have been the tremendous damage. What else do you see? His blood's turning blue. There's a lot of blood. Hold on. Uh. uh he wow. Was a boy. He had AIDS. Oh, wait, wait. Hemophilia <laughs> is where you bleed a lot, right? I think so, right? I have a lot of blood. Yeah, okay. But I just love that that's there. He had AIDS. It is a lot of blood, but I don't think it has anything to do with hemophilia. All right, let's see, let's just see what they say. Had what? <laughs> they don't have AIDS in the dragon world. This world is perfect. They, they don't have AIDS. It doesn't look like he was dragged there, so... He was dragged here after he died? No, yeah, it does not. This isn't blood. He died here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Splatters also suggest this is where they fought. Unfortunately, it doesn't help. Objection! Oh. Sorry, I always wanted to say that. Go on, please. Okay. I don't think it's blood. What about the blood on his muzzle? You tell me. He fought back, right? He has gum disease? They're gonna be like, what's gum disease? We don't have that here either. Uh... He fought back. Right? It might be the perpetrator's blood. Yeah, that's true. I expect forensics already took a sample of it, so it might actually help us determine who the perpetrator is. I think that's about everything. That's oh, it? Okay. Oh. Bummer. I wanted more. Yeah. For someone who says they haven't done this kind of thing, that wasn't too bad. Hey, Chief, do you still need the witness here? Sebastian approached the dragon. Oh, he wa- Wait. I recognized her as a dean, the waitress from the cafe. <gasps> Oh, the dragon who discovered the body yeah. was a dean. I was going to say, well, we got introduced to that character and she's dead now. Yeah, get her statement. Yeah. All right, oh, she miss. looks so sad. <laughs> her composure brightened visibly. Oh, it's the human. Well, I'm a human. <laughs> I have a name, you know. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't. You never told me it. It's schmarkish. What are you even doing here? Do you work for our police now? Guess so. <laughs> Guess so guess so baby that doesn't sound very convincing i'm not quite convinced either by the way i didn't know you also did deliveries oh come on she's got goggles you can tell well she could just be steampunk oh that's true right she's like my favorite band is the dragon the dragon powered dra- or no wow steam powered dragon would have been a better joke <laughs> <laughs> dragon powered giraffe was the worst thing i could come up with here's our number if you don't want to come in and we'll deliver anything we have to you what was that? All right, bye. What do we do now? We'll head off to... Unless... Oh, no. What is it? We've got a violent homicide, and of course nobody from the department tells me. I have to find out from a neighbor who wanted to ask me about it. Good thing rumors travel fast, eh? Of course nobody told you. You're on sick leave. Mandatory sick leave, I might add. Wait, what's that mean? Remember? Because he... See, is he, he on shot? sick? But wasn't he on sick leave before? No, he got sick leave because he got shot. Oh, I don't want anything. I just find it interesting. No one tells me about this, but the prime suspect's buddy can mess around. I see how it is. 
I know what you're thinking, but don't jump to conclusions. I don't need to jump to conclusions. I think the dead body found says it all. We should have, he should have killed this guy. I know, right? <laughs> should have shot him in the face. Well, you better watch your mouth before you get shot again, uh, Maver, Maverick. I don't need to hear you, of all people, belittling me about this. If anything, I want to find him as much as you do. Don't compare yourself to me. Words mean nothing. You shouldn't even be here. Get out of here, Mav. Yeah, we don't like you. Get out of here. Bye. Can he even do his own investigation like that? Well, as long as he doesn't interfere, we can't really stop him from doing things in his free time. A suspect... I suspect he won't adhere to standards. We're gonna have to kill this guy. That's what I think. I know, yeah. That's probably what's gonna happen in the future. Uh... Let's hope we find Reza before he does. Yeah, don't worry. He'll turn up eventually. I surely hope so. All things considered, I had to admit that I re it remained a possibility that Maverick was right, but could Reza, I knew, really be a murderer? Nah, he would have shot the other guy in the face. Yeah, probably, right? There's got to be something going on. Why is this world going to disappear? What should I do? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Meet with Remy, meet with Anna, meet with Laura, meet with Bryce, or order some lunch. And if we order lunch, we get to meet with Adina, right? Or whatever her name is, yeah. Adine? So who should we meet with? Remy is the glasses dragon one. Anna was the brown. The one you want to meet is one. we want to either meet with Lorem or we want to order some lunch. Okay. Oh, Lorem the. Oh little... no! Let's order some lunch so we can try and wean it out of her. All right, all right, yeah, let's let's do it. It just immediately cuts to. <laughs> it's like Anna came over or what? Adine came over. Why is she coming here? We want lunch. <laughs> Yeah, Adine herself stood in the doorway, drip, dripping wet and with damp containers. Oh, I guess it was raining. Oh, man. <laughs> she always looks sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's like, why did you order lunch in the rain? Oh, it's you again. I thought we were over this, but at least you don't reduce me to my species anymore? What? Damn. Okay, let's just be nice to her. Shouldn't come as a surprise considering you knew I'd deliver for your cafe. Here's the order. Sorry it got wet, but it should still be okay. You're soaked. Why don't you come in? Should yeah, we invite her in? Yeah, invite her. Right. Thanks. I was about to ask you if you could stay. I could stay for a while. This was actually my last delivery for the day, and I live on the other side of town. Oh, okay. Of course, I couldn't let you fly back when it's this ugly outside. Wait, wait. Can they even fly in this in this world? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Some of them, right? Dude, it would be hilarious if you just like romance one of the dragons and the game ends. It doesn't even explain the rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> like you never find your friend, you never figure out what happened. We just marry Adine. That's it. Yeah, marry Adine, and then the uh, the world ends. Do you like it? Uh, I didn't want to make the same mistake I did earlier today. Do you have something similar where you come from? We do, as a matter of fact. It's most almost scary how close it is to what we have back home. Maybe we all just share a similar taste. Maybe I don't care. <laughs> Maybe there's more to it. I that. love that we can like be affectionate and then at any point just become totally apathetic and like <laughs> mean to these. Yeah, maybe there's more to it. What do you mean? Don't you trace your origins back to humans in some way? I know that kind of reputation we have in your culture. That is true. Where do you think the portal you found came from? Who built it? Humans did it, of course. Exactly. If you believe humans had something to do with an artifact created who knows how many years ago, it wouldn't be a stretch to think that they could have also influenced you in other ways. Even as something as simple as this dish, I like that idea. So when you aren't working in the restaurant, do you have a family? Well, most of the time I take care of my kids. Well, well um, like, I guess we got. I guess she's not the one. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. We either like man up and play piccolo and be the stepdad, <laughs> or we we go on. They aren't really my children. I just take care of them. Oh, oh I'm a foster okay. parent. She's like, yeah, they're my baby daddy's kids. It's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? I can't really take care of them in, take them in and care for them 24-7 like a proper parent. I'd love to, but I work too much to be a single parent. With the amount of time I spent at the restaurant, I don't think kids would be any better off, so I just help out wherever I can. That's very nice of you. Thanks. These kids didn't really get a good hand in life. I just thought that if I could make a small difference, it'd be worth it. What are your hobbies? Do you have any? Can I ask a question for a change? You know what? Yeah. Let's leave it at that. Let's let's we'll we'll find out what Adine has to ask us next episode. You wanna you wanna ask for anything from the viewers, Elby? Um, more kisses, please. Okay, I yeah, more kisses, kisses. And, and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.